We're going to show you the release of the first four colors of the new DIY paint line. Zeb, you want to go first? All right, let's do like a three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. All right, what do you have? What's it called? So this one here is Monet's Garden and Salty Kiss. And I have Blue Iris and Water Lily, and we're going to show you how awesome they are on these little bitty dressers. These are going to go in the shop for my paint display to show people what they look like. We'll give you some close-ups so that they look huge. <laughs> All right, I'm starting with Blue Iris. What are you painting first? I'm going to do Monet's Garden, and then I'm using the Salty Kiss. You guys are going to be shocked I'm painting the back of furniture. But I feel like people will pick these up and look at them, so they need to be painted from every angle. I'm using Blue Iris, which is a beautiful cobalt blue. I've got Monet's Garden. I feel like it's kind of an emerald green. Yeah. And it's really deep. I like it a lot. I gave you the greens because I know that greens are some of your favorite colors. They are. I feel like I'm killing three birds with one stone. Because I'm doing this video, but I'm also painting these for my photo photography. And then I'm also going to be using these. Um, these are samples. Of the display. <laughs> the sample colors. Easiest dresser I've ever painted. Yeah, I feel like this is the only dresser you're going to paint in two minutes. What is this, little doll furniture? Yeah, it's from the dollar store. Nice. I know, I felt like I was winning. What, I have Water Lily is my next color. I'm doing Salty Kiss. I also like those blues though. Yeah, so Water Lily is a periwinkle. So Water Lily and Blue Iris were picked out by Miss Dion. I guess you can probably tell since one of them is called Blue Iris. So Salty Kiss, to me, looks like a vintage green, like if you on old Hoosiers or... Yeah, it's a lot brighter, but it's still kind of got that old vintage vibe to it. Yeah, Debbie picks really great vintage inspired colors. I like it. These little brushes are magic on these I small know. little I picked, dressers. I picked little, the little <laughs> Frenchie and the Joy, so that way I could paint these little dressers. Worked out great. If you want to see all of these complete, dry, and photographed up close, be sure to stay tuned after our sign out. We'll have good pictures of all of them sealed. Water Lily, Blue Iris, Monet's Garden, and Salty Kiss. We didn't get our decrepit dust in time for this video, but we do have it available on the website. So we're gonna show you those pictures. The decrepit dust can be used similar to a dark wax or a glaze, and you can put it over detail to make it look dark and decrepit and wipe it back. If you like these colors as much as we do, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com to pick these and all the new DIY products up. You can also grab them at Jamie Ray Vintage Lehigh Store and Plant Bar AZ. We'll drop all those links below. Make sure you hit that notifications button so you don't miss the next color reveal that's happening an hour from now so that you get that reminder there. Friends don't let friends miss out on new DIY colors, so share this with your friends. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.